Music. Okay, this is Cindy Thompson with uh, the Charlotte Pro-Choice Coalition. Is that the right, I get the That's name right? That's right, and okay, also cool. uh, Charlotte Now, the National Organization for Women. Cool. So, what, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Well, well, I really appreciate everybody coming out. We have about 70 people out here today, and it just means so much to the clinic workers and the clinic owner here, because they've been dealing with protesters every week since 2002 and uh, and and this show of support for pro-choice is really meaningful what sort of things have you seen from the from the, uh, the OSA people this week well they've been uh, getting the noise permit and preaching really loud so that they, they try to be heard in the clinic inside of the clinic uh, they really upset the patients they try to stop them in the driveway and give them their literature and just uh, continue to do business as usual. And, and the other day, they were outnumbering the pro-choice folks during the week and thinking they had won and that they had shut this clinic down, but they did not. This clinic is business as usual on Friday and Saturday, as always, and, uh, and we're just happy to be out here and supporting this clinic. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so you think, you, are we declaring victory today for with the people out? Absolutely. And I, the, I understand that uh, the OSA is driven by and seeing our numbers mm -hmm. and know that they can't get on to where they're used to be. They, they usually camp out on this utility easement, which is a public right of way, um, on, on Saturdays. And we've taken it over this week. We've won and, and taken over the easement. Uh, I wonder if you might have any words about this this particular tree that we're standing under today. Is there, is there a story about this tree? Well, uh, for for years, they after the, this high fence was put up to protect patients' privacy, uh, the these protesters have been able to erect scaffolding out here and get up above the fence to preach to people coming into the clinic and to try to be heard inside the clinic. So. This week, the police decided that they could not do that. So we had a, a preacher that is used to standing out, and he brings his ladder, and the police told him to get down, so he got arrested on Saturday. He came back on Tuesday and, and with his ladder, and the police told him he couldn't use his ladder, so he climbed up in the tree and stayed. Amazing. So this morning, he was back up in the tree, and, and there were, when there were so many of us that uh, some of the uh, anti-choice people or the anti-abortion people came and and got him down from the tree. So, wow! Wow! Uh, so it's been it's been a real interesting week out here, and um, that was the only arrest that I know of this week. Do you have any thoughts on how things how this has affected Charlotte and and public opinion in Charlotte? How OSA's presence and the counter presence of people like us has affected well, people? Right. They've been um, that well. This OSA ha having people from all over the country, and they claim to have about a couple of hundred people, uh, and they've been o at overpasses with their great big bloody signs and so forth. Uh, and I think most of the Charlotteans feel like they're just nuts, even if they agree with with their theology, they th still think they've just gone too far. And I know that there are people that are very upset that their children have to see these mm -hmm. graphic pictures. Cool, thanks Cindy. Thank, thank you. you so much for being here and everything you guys well, do. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah, glad Appreciate to be here. It.